Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khair for tuning in to another episode of Hussein TV. I'm your host and coach, Hussein Muhammad, working to help you build your dream life in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in today's episode, inshallah, what I'll be talking about is why in the world do we hate to work and why are we so lazy and sluggish? Um, it's something that I was thinking about and had a couple of insights to kind of share with you, bithnillahi ta'ala. So inshallah, I just wanted to let you know there's this basic problem that we have that we start to become, uh, you know, we, we hate to work, uh, we start to become lazy, lethargic, and we start to become sluggish, and we don't pursue our uh, passion, purpose, and dreams. Um, so with that being said, um, I, I really thought about this a little bit. There are multiple ways of looking at it. There's multiple facets. Um, maybe if you are an individual who struggles with, you know what I mean, hating the work that you do, who struggles with being lazy, lethargic, and sluggish, um, you know what I mean, falling into a slump, um, ponder that for a moment. I'm pretty sure every human being at one point in life experiences that. And on the on the other good side of it, you know what I mean? Someone is extremely passionate, inspirational, motivational, and they really want to go after their uh, passion, purpose, and dreams. Um, and, and, and that is the model figure, right? But within the same token, uh, you know, in one way or another, in certain periods and stages in our lives, uh, especially if you're watching a lot of binging on YouTube, um, then for sure you're, you're experiencing... Uh, some of that to a large degree because I know whenever I'm you know not being as motivated as I possibly can I tend to slack off and do a lot of things off the grid and just kind of waste a lot of time online so if you are someone who's doing that at this particular moment and you're not on your game and you're not on your grind uh, I hope anybody who's watching this channel is but if you're not then you're still watching this channel it means that you, you, you have this uh, potential gap. You have this uh, gap that you want to close in fulfilling your potential by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I really thought about it. There's, I'm, I'm going to share with you, with you three things, inshallah. And there's five more other things. Maybe I'll get into it now or later, inshallah, uh, depending on how my passion and everything is flowing. But the first thing I realized is, you know, it's about the passion. It's about... Do you love and enjoy the work that you do? Uh, if you're feeling sluggish or anything like that, for sure you don't. You, you don't love what you do. Or you, have, you haven't found the love in what you do. Um, you know, it always doesn't have to be something brand new. It could be finding a meaning, a purpose in what you're doing. And that's the second thing. You have to find your purpose. You have to know what you're after and why you're after it and understand your general purpose in life which is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have to find your unique purpose in life what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you to do particularly in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and last but not least you have to find the specific purpose why are you doing the specific things that you're doing like for example for me the reason why I'm doing this particular episode about uh, why we hate work and why we feel lazy and sluggish is because I felt like that a lot of the times. And I know individuals that are out there are feeling like that, especially when they're watching this video. So please uh, pl press the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment on the link below what your thoughts are, inshallah. So that's that's kind of the whole picture of why, you know what I mean, we, we feel sluggish. And the last and third piece is that we feel... Uh, we don't. We haven't discovered, defined, and refined our dreams, our our our, our this vision that we have of what, the way we want our lives to be and things like that. So, be the nilahi taala. Keep that in mind. Uh, you know what I mean. Find your passion. Find your purpose, and definitely discover your dreams and start building that. Be the nilahi taala. Now. Um, I'll share with you five more other things, bithinillahi ta'ala, that are very, very important that has been an extremely important insight for me. Um, and this part is, 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 is very, very deep and it's very, very extraordinary, at least to me. And I hope that you guys find it the same. Um, I found out, uh, initially I thought it was four, but I found out there are five particular layers of an individual within a society. And... 
And I'm still trying to figure out how to strategically systematize this. But the first one that I realized is our relationships. Um, all the way from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger, all the way down to ourselves and our family and our ummah, our parents, our spouses, our children. Any form of relationship that you have impacts your life in a tremendous way. I guarantee you, any pain that you have in your life is because of a relationship. And any pleasure that you have in your life is because of a relationship. So keep that in mind. So your relationships are important. The next layer, we're going to start from the inside out, is uh, the, the spirituality, your soul. Um, that is important to understand. So if you're committing a lot of sin, you're doing a lot of disservice for your soul, and you're, hun you're hindering your progress and passion and purpose and dreams. The other thing is, the, the third one is our psychology, the, the way that we think, our mindset. Is, is critical to how we, uh, you know, view our work, how we view, you know, being lazy, lethargic, and sluggish. And the the fourth one is, uh, you know, it's all about the mindset, making sure your mindset is correct. And, you know, there, there's a lot of issues that we have these days with mental health, uh, particularly in the Western world as well as the uh, Eastern world. All of this is just contributing to the psychological aspect of, building our mindsets and that builds from our relationships our spirituality and it builds on our um our psychology and then the fourth level is our physiology our body our physical nature right our belongings our abundance whatever you want to call it that is an important element to knowing if you are if you will hate work or if you would love the work that you do. In one weird way, it all connects for some reason. Um, last but not least is the financial aspect of our lives. You know what I mean? How much money do we need? How much money do we want? Versus how much money do we have? And the difference between the two, whether it's a surplus or a negative. Um, breaking even or surplus or negative, whatever condition that you might be in. Um, having the scarcity mindset uh, and, and, and this, this energy that we bring about ourselves, we are, we're always in the negative for the most part. Overdrafts, um, you know what I mean? Emotionally empty, feeling drained mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, relationally. Um, so, you know what I mean? Your, your iman is low, your, your, your taqwa is low. Whatever it may be, it is these elements that is causing us to hate the work that we do and to feel lazy, lethargic, and sluggish. So I hope I stirred something in your soul, your spirit, um, to, 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 to move and change what you're doing. Um, you know, I, I really thought about it. It's like the reason why we hate, the, we hate the work that we do and we feel, you know what I mean, lazy, lethargic, and sluggish is because it's like that whole concept of the, 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 the educational system that we're in right now where, um, you know what I mean, it's like the, when, when they have a standardized test, and they basically, they they basically, uh, you know, take a fish, a monkey, um, you know, all these. And I'm pretty sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That picture where they show uh, all these different uh, creatures that have different talents and knowledge, and they're judging that. And the standardized test is how well they can climb a tree. Um, so. For most of us, we're in a situation where it doesn't really bring the best out of us. It, it maybe even brings the worst out of us. So, you know, I, I really was reflecting on why is it that the people that are passionate have purpose and dreams that they're chasing every single day to build their dream life in this dunya and the akhirah. Um, why are they the individuals who, you know what I mean, force themselves to go to sleep at night and cannot wake up, cannot wait to wake up in the morning? Whereas... The other individuals who, who, who hate the work that they do and who are lethargic and everything else force them, you know what I mean, like fall asleep because of their laziness and lethargi lethar lethargicism. I'll just make up some word, guys. Forget it. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being politi politically correct and correct and whatever else you want to call it, lethargicism. Um, <laughs> um, so, the what was I saying? So basically, the, the reason why we're doing all of these things is because, uh, you know, we, we, the lazy people fall asleep and hate to wake up, and the passionate, purposeful, and dreamful individuals 
force themselves to go to sleep and, and, and can't wait to wake up because they love the work that they're doing, the impact that they're creating, the creating, being a creator for the creator um, and, 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 and having the level of influence, right? Uh, the, our, our, our business is transferring over into influ influencer marketing where um, an influencer will shout out a particular product, brand, or service, and everybody just kind of rushes to, to that because they believe in what the person is saying and they love the person and everything else. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you really have to find your passion, purpose, and dream work and start doing that. Whatever it may be, I know some of you guys already know what that is. Some of you guys haven't discovered it yet. Some of you guys haven't defined it yet. Some of you guys haven't refined it yet. So that is my solution to all these problems that we're having with people hating the work that they do and people loving that the, the work that they do. And the reason why I started to think about this is because I started to see myself, you know, majority of the time I hate the work that I do. Um, and then I realized there are certain work that I love, but everybody is pushing me away from that, which is the, the, the blogging, the vlogging, the training, the coaching, the speaking, the writing, everything else that you can imagine. And then I remember certain family members complaining and hating work and feeling lazy, lethargic. And I felt like that at times. And then I'm like, you know, what you're doing, going after your building your dream, life in this dunya and in the akhirah is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But then I thought about it as I was thinking about this topic for today. I was like, you know, I, I, you have to compare the two. I'm like, would, would I live, would I choose to live with the pain of regret? Or would I choose to live with the pain of discipline, of putting in the hard work, putting in the grind, doing whatever I need to do to make sure that I'm successful with my, with successful in building my dream life in this dunya and the akhirah that I'm hoping to do for myself as I hope to inspire and motivate you guys to do. And I compared the two. I'm like, I could be complaining and lamenting and being lazy and lethargic for the rest of my life. Or I could put in the work and the grind for a few hours of few few years of my life to re to live the rest of my life, the be to make the best of my life, to make the rest of my life the best of my life. So I hope that you understand what the hell I'm talking about. So, um, <laughs> so you know that's kind of my my passionate rant. Um, you know what I mean? I'm, I want to share my insights with you. I want to share. Uh, that uh, hopefully that you can share your insights with me as well. Um, leave it on the comment below. If you've liked this video, please press the like button. Stop being, stop hating the work that you do. Start loving the work that you do. And, and if you can't love the work that you do, find other work that you love. You know what I mean? Whether that's recording video, editing video, speaking, training, coaching, cooking, uh, cleaning, whatever, the, whatever, <laughs> whatever it may be. Go after and go get it, bithanillahi ta'ala. So if you like this video, please press the like button and leave a comment on the link below and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more amazing content to help you build your dream life, not only in this life, but also in the hereafter by the grace, will, and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't forget to share it with those who hate their work, who are lazy and lethargic that could use a little bit of motivation to get up and grind and go get it, bithanillahi ta'ala. Um, and that is my two cents on Hussein TV with your host and coach Hussein Mahmoud letting you know and inspiring and motivating you to never give up on building your dream life in this dunya and in the akhirah by the grace, will and for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.